all right so welcome to Daze tv and over the weekend um kotoka movie um produced by yvonne nelson production uh, was premiered at Accra Mall at Silver Bird Cinema. Yes, and it was well attended. The whole place was fully packed, and all the cast were there to take pictures with their fans. And you know, there was a first show, second show, and even a third show. And in fact, the turnout was massive. And I was even surprised to see that people are still in a queue trying to buy tickets to go and watch the movie. And this tells you that Ghana movie industry is still not dead. And if you do a proper production with a world structured marketing strategy you would definitely get the people to come and watch and you can see that yvonne was hopping from one radio station to another radio station just to let people know that this is the kind of movie that she's coming along with that and if you look at the trailer you will love the movie i didn't get the opportunity to enter but hopefully i will get the opportunity to watch the entire movie when they premiere it either in kumasi or takradi and we spoke to yvonne which you get the opportunity to listen to what she said when we had the opportunity to speak to Yvonne herself and she told us the plans and how she is going to premiere the movie in other regions so that those people can have opportunity to also watch that exclusive and a beautiful um movie that we are talking about it's a it was very beautiful moment quantum of gmb was also part of the crew and that was her first time of acting and she described Yvonne as an amazing and wonderful person and Majid Michel will always be there for Yvonne they are like a pair they don't leave each other they always support each other that was a beautiful moment at the Accra Mall when we premiered the Kotoka movie and according to people that I spoke to and this is when the first show ended and they were coming out this is the first show when the show ended and the people were coming out you can see that the whole place was fully packed so those outside were also waiting for the team to come out yeah so yvonne was still taking pictures with the fans you know after the first show she will come out and she would she would take pictures with the fans and those these are people that were coming out of the auditorium when you were done with that first show beautiful girls and amazing personalities people were there with their fiancés, their friends, husband and wife. In fact, it was very beautiful sight to watch, you know. And I was very excited because people are complaining about Ghana movie industry not being strong. We don't have an industry, but if one individual can pull such a crowd to go and watch, remember the same thing was also premiered at the Silver Bird Cinema in what's a small in Kaswa there. So just imagine people that troop into Accra Mall to watch the movie. And those we, we, we are yet to get an information about the turnout at Wessels Mall. But if you look at the people that attended this wonderful premiere, I can bet you the Ghana movie industry is not dead. All that they have to do is to come out with a proper script, with a proper movie, proper well-structured script. And I bet you Ghanaians who always love good things. All right, so we had well, an exclusive interview with you. Um, um, and this Yvonne tells you that Yvonne Antima, is an amazing Kapipolo. producer. It's an um, amazing so Let's go and listen to what you have to say amazing personality. about so the right, So thank you very much again, News TV and Dazzy TV. So I have, I mean, the, <laughs> how should I put it? Yvonne, Yvonne herself here. Uh, Yvonne, I mean, I came here for the first show and the turnout will be massive. How yeah. will you describe it? I'm lucky I have, you know, fans who really love the movies I make. So it's, it's a blessing, you know. I, I'm always so thankful and I want to say a big thank you to um, everyone who came out, all of us, all of us, the story, the cast, um, of course, they know what I'm capable of doing, so they know that I always put out great uh, content, so it's everything, I can't make a movie all alone, I can't be in the movie alone, so I cannot even take all the credit at all, so this, um, this is for the crew, the cast, the whole team, yeah, everyone has, has done brilliant. So do you have plans for those who don't get opportunity to be here after this? Yes, yes, if you're watching me and you're not here, obviously, um, just know that the movie is still showing, and it will still be here showing at the Silver Bear Cinema, so come out and see it. Are you not going to see it on maybe the digital platform, the Netflix, or maybe... Hopefully, hopefully, um, in the future, hopefully. But I have to do all the, the runs um, at cinema, maybe go around the regions um, of Ghana before I, I do the online platforms. Your final word to your, your cherished viewers. Yeah. Thank you, guys. 
thank you for uh, coming out to watch this beautiful movie. But if you're not here, please come and see it, okay? The movie is still here. It will be showing at the cinema. Thank you. How will you describe your first... I mean, this is your first maiden movie, right? Yes, my debut. Your debut. How will you describe it? Um, it's a dream come true, actually, to be part of a huge project like this. And then it's my debut, so I'm really grateful to God. I'm thankful um, for Ryan for trusting me with with um, the role. So I'm super grateful. So how will you describe your role in the movie? I mean, first time somebody watching. I don't have a lot to say about my role. The only thing I can say is I'm a computer girl. Computer girl. <laughs> You're a good girl. Computer girl. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. All right. So, how was it? I mean. Acting with uh, Majid, Yvonne, these are people that you watch them growing up as a kid. How do you describe working with them? Okay, so personally, I shot with Yvonne, like, yeah, directly with Yvonne. And I was scared initially, but when we started shooting, it went on very, very well. Because I'd rehearsed, I knew my line, so I was comfortable working with her. Yeah. Are you still going to see quantum in the subsequent movies or maybe this was just going to be like one time thing that you no it's not going to be a one time thing so if you know me you know i'm a film person i've always wanted to do this but um this is my starting point so i'm looking forward to going to a lot of inter um, auditions getting gigs acting i don't know hollywood is the dream so that's our sir <laughs> also hollywood is the dream all right thank you very much for speaking thank to us thank you for having me dad Ghana News TV, so what's on the FA? Does it seem so? Oh, you're a man who has a crap in polo, yes. No, I got over the way in this idea, and yes, okay. I'm a crab, but I'd rather does it TV and a Ghana News TV, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we can say you're a good trailer, now you're who's a woman. Would I describe your role? Then now we are moving. Okay, as you know, it's my profession. I, I, was, I was the sales leader. I was the sales leader. So I was the one in there before they brought evil, no snail call. And you know, I have to show them paper because there is no peace in prison yard. So if you can, don't think you are going to feel comfortable. Your eyes will pepper you. Yeah. And why? I don't know how do you do any deal, are they? Yeah, easy. My son she has a prison leader, sales leader. Now you get your number. Now me me deny it. It's not on the number one. It means she ain't a major. She ain't a major. So now you're poisoning. I just imagine me and the savior. Imagine come. All right. So when your opportunity to move away, and you watch that, but don't worry. Uh, Yvonne say on bel year no work. Me and me have a brain. It's been your opportunity to watch the. But come to think of it, getting an opportunity to work with Yvonne. How will you describe it? It's a great feeling because I didn't expect it. And even now when I've come back from prison, I didn't expect it at all that she will call me because with her brand and with my brand, it doesn't tell you at all. But Allah did it for me. Yes. And one of her interviews, she said that you are one most punctual, like you acted professionally and he, she would love to work with you again. Yes. When you heard about that compliment from her, how did you feel? Yes. I didn't expect her to say that on air because she has already told me even in our group chat she made everyone know this but for her to come out and say it loud for the whole world to hear meaning she mean it and i'm so happy i was so happy when she said she can't wait to work with me again and I, i'll be the happiest person for Yvonne to call me again for her next production like so with your radio so with any amount for she can but it's Okay, it's a brand that I built to get to where I am now. So I'm building a brand in brand in Kobia Lenti me wasen. Anka kadi bi imba non mi me tweke. Anka nei mi ni opportunity to be on the red carpet with Majid Michel and Yvonne Nelson. Is is by grace. So I always say that as no be any kind of need be elevating. So this is how Allah has brought me. And I said I've stopped all that I did because that wasn't me. That was a two of me. In real life, I'm a lovely person. I'm a shy tap, and you'll never see me in a house half naked. Always I'm in Jarabia. Always. Even before I became, I became um, 
I'm not I'm Muslim. I'm always covered. So whatever I was doing here is is just to put food on the table of my son and my mom. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, Allah should continue to bless her, give her more wisdom, more knowledge, to write more script that I will be fitting in. This time I don't have to be in the police custody, I don't have to be a prostitute for Yvonne to give me a prostitution role. Yvonne should believe that Polo can do it, even whether she is on the street doing prostitution or she is a thief. Polo can play a role of a thief without stealing. I want her to know that I can do it. I'm all round, unless you don't give it to me. If you give me a script, I will read it and understand it. If I'm not, I don't understand, I will let you make me understand. I'm ready to learn, and I learn. If you want me to play a role of a judge, I can. Lawyer, I can. Nurse, yes, I can. Classy movies, I can because already I know how to dress already. When it comes to dress, and if you want me to go local, I fit in there too. So, Yvonne, Allah bless you, give you more long life, knowledge to write more scripts, then you put me in. Inshallah, I know everything will be fine. Thank you very much for speaking to that. Uh, the man of the movement, that's how I'll call you. Uh, just a quick one how will you describe this production? This production is very, very, very well thought of because it's inspired by true story. Everybody should come to the mall and watch Kutuka. Today's Thursday, but after today's Saturday show, and a lot of lessons to be learned. All right, thank you very much.